oxygen, 50%. Terraforming missions. The Aurora was one such vessel. During its descent, the Aurora was struck by a mysterious energy pulse, resulting in catastrophic hull failure. A single life pod jettisoned prior to impact. You were in that life pod. I think I must have been a lemming in a past life because I end up in the most unfortunate of circumstances. This is not a particularly big life pod either. It's got some storage there. Warning, crash sequence enabled. Oh, it's not good. I don't know how I was the only one who survived this. But, this looks like it could be a problem. Would appear we are indeed stranded on that alien planet here, and we're the only survivor from the ship. Now from what I've been reading, because there is a Wikipedia page on this, uh, this fabricated machine is where you get all of the equipment for this. So it seems we can build tank fins and all kinds of stuff down here. There's a knife. So I think the basic idea is we've got to collect things from around us in the world and then use them to survive. Because uh, there's nothing in storage. You use tab to bring up uh, your inventory. As soon as we can get out the bottom of the pod, but I'll go back, back up on the roof. I guess we've just got to jump in. It seems there's no big fish around. It's quite a cute little uh, escape pod. It looks happy. I don't know if those fish are going to be edible, they seem mostly eyeball. But I've only got 39% percent carrot at the moment, it seems. Food. Oh god, Jar Jar Binks has become a fish! This is what happened after Star Wars. I can hear like dolphin noises or something. I think I just broke that that rock with the fish. How do I put Jar Jar? Oh, there we go. It was freaking me out. Oxygen, 25%. I can hear something that does not sound friendly. Warning, oxygen, 10%. <laughs> you don't want to get too close to stuff because like it might attack you. He's got a friendly face, that fish. I guess this is from the... Uh, oh, you can actually dig sand as well. 
I don't think they were joking about that terraformer stuff in the intro as well. You can actually... Oh, scrap metal's pretty big. You can actually terraform the whole landscape and build yourself an island with a house and if you want to, from what I've been... from what I've been reading. But you've got to gather resources either from these, like, things that you break, or bits of scrap metal and stuff that are just on the floor. Of course, you've got to get to the surface before your oxygen runs out. Oxygen, 25%. What in the world is that thing? Oxygen, 10%. Probably not a good idea to choke all the natives, because... I don't know if these are baby fish like I've got, because... I haven't seen anything too big, although we are... This is uh, pretty deep round here. Oh. Okay, those fish weren't friendly. I think that's what I was hearing. There's, there's a safe down here. Sea moth fragment. That was an air sack. I think that um, that jellyfish I just found, wherever it was, that I choke-holded, um, it, uh, I think you use that for water instead of the fabricator. I think, so apparently we can squeeze him for water. <laughs> oh, it's getting proper deep here now. There could be any kinds of sharks hiding in all this. Well, that, that is a bigger fish. It's actually collecting metal. Oxygen, 50%. I'm gonna borrow this off him, unless he's gone away. God, that's a big tooth. That oh! Oh, that actually scared the crap out of me just then. There's something very, very frightening about open water. I don't know. Oh, I figured it out. You can turn the quartz into silicon and the scrap metal into titanium and then it will let you build the tools. So if I just build the... So I've got myself a knife now just by using those parts I collected. A tank and some fins. Oh dear, it's too much work for the other guys. See, I'm wondering if I could use that thing, floater, and move this rock. Oxygen, 50%. I'm gonna borrow these guys and then. Uh, See if this will let me move this rock. You have to press the number key on it to assign it to a tool belt slot. Hmm, 
Maybe it's jammed in there. Oh, now that's cool. So if my vent is full, I can actually float stuff up to the surface to collect later. It must be a heavy piece of metal to sink that fast. guys kind of look friendly though. I don't think they've got teeth. Just a sucker. That actually hurt me! The hell did that fish just do to me? I made one of these floats out of the floaters. It lets you get to the surface quicker. It's red sky at night, shepherd's delight, isn't it? I'm not sure that works at the moment. What with us being in the ocean and all. I've figured out what the sea moth fragments do. You gotta build one of these from titanium and um, uh, mushrooms because you can collect the mushrooms to make battery acid and then it lets you build a little submarine this is our first sea moth But I think this should let us get to deeper water. Because I've only stuck to the shallows at the moment because I don't like going deep whilst just diving. Well, look at it. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, it basically works like swimming does. You can go sideways. Oh, we can go right down into the depths. I haven't been down there yet. It doesn't seem it takes up oxygen either, so... You could pretty much go as deep as you wanted, I'd imagine, in this. There's more stuff to collect here. Look how cool that looks. I can build another sea moth now. If this one breaks. I've not actually ever swam down this deep. So I thought I'd drown. 